I think it's aligning it to our strategic goals um, about moving our firm forward in using digital technologies and so on. We realized that we had to develop the staff that we have. And so learning becomes a very sort of pinnacle part of that because I believe that if you have a good learning culture within your firm, that is going to set you apart from others who may be competing for the same talent. And developers and tech people are really creative people. And I think that as long as they're seeing the opportunity of learning and growing, they are more likely to stay. So we very much aligned our learning outcomes to our strategic goals. Um, and the more you invest in people, then the more sticky they are to your organization. But I think culture really does have to be at the heart of it. And I think that linked with what we've seen in COVID as well has had a huge impact on people. So we look at things of giving, giving people opportunities outside their day job to be innovative. Hackathons have become really important. Opportunities to network with each other. I think, you know, the landscape has completely changed. So it does come from top down and the leadership absolutely believe in it. And so there's nothing that will engage people quite so much as a senior person telling them um, an interesting course they've done on Pluralsight that does generally generate a lot of interest. And it also is giving people permission to learn. So I would say going back sort of seven years, if someone was doing a Pluralsight course on their computer during work hours, they would have been told, well, what, what are you doing that for? You're obviously not busy enough. Now, if someone is seen to be doing a Pluralsight course, they walk past and go, oh, that, that person's obviously getting themselves prepared for this project or that project. So the sort of the incentives and the attitude towards changing has quite fundamentally changed. And the step that I'd like to get to next is using something like Skill IQ, which gives you a figure on somebody's skills, identifying talent and then moving them to where the projects are most needed. That is a goal for me to achieve in, in the next 12 months and then to tell everybody about that because then I think you're properly rewarded by doing more interesting work because you have taken the time to invest. We want people to feel really supported in in learning, in developing, in in actually sort of climbing the career ladder at Nomura. And I think recognition plays a big part in that. Um, it's something that in technology, um, historically, we've, we've overlooked. You just give people projects and we work from project to project and we get it done and there's no big fanfare. But it's, it's picking out those individuals who have actually invested in their skills and, you know, holding them up as a good cultural example.